In this video, we're going to learn about point and rotational symmetry. So point symmetry means that a figure is symmetric through a single point, um, which really means if we rotate a figure 180 degrees, does the figure look the same? So point symmetry is really um, the same as rotational symmetry of 180 degrees. So I'm going to add that. So this is the same as rotational symmetry. Of 180 degrees. And if you think about why that's true, well, point reflection, so a reflection through a point is the same, same thing as rotating the figure 180 degrees around that point. So whenever we talk about point symmetry, we're talking about symmetric through a point, which the easier thing to do is just to look at your figure. If you can turn it 180 degrees, meaning turning it upside down, does it look the same? If it does, then it has point symmetry or it has rotational symmetry of 180 degrees. So um, that's really the easiest way to identify, which is described right here. So if we look at these examples, circle, whatever shapes have point symmetry. So if I look at the word noon, you imagine rotating this 180 degrees, so turning it upside down, does it look the same? So yes, it matches up. So that means that this has point symmetry, so we can circle that one. If I look at this triangle, if I rotate that 180 degrees, so turning that completely upside down, so my green dot down here went 180 degrees, so no, this does not have point symmetry. So I can just say, cross that one off. The smile face, if you turn that upside down, it's going to be an upside down smile face, so not the same. And then the card here, if I turn this 180 degrees, it looks exactly the same, it matches up, so that would have point symmetry. So point symmetry is the same thing as rotational symmetry of 180 degrees. So now what we have is just called rotational symmetry in general, which I've kind of already talked about. Rotational symmetry of 180 degrees means I turn a figure 180 degrees and see if it looks the same. Rotational symmetry though doesn't have to just be 180 degrees, that's for point symmetry. So rotational symmetry can be for any number of degrees between 0 and 360. Now we wouldn't say rotational symmetry of 0 degrees because it means we never move the figure. So who really cares about that? Same thing with 360. If you rotate any figure 360 degrees, it's going to look exactly the same because you just rotated it a complete circle and it ends up being right where you started. So we don't talk about that either. So when we talk about rotational symmetry, it's when we rotate a figure um, a number of degrees between 0 and 360, so not including those numbers. So that means if we look at these pictures, and we'll talk about order of rotational symmetry after. So if I look at this, um, let's see, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 8 sides, so it's an octagon. So if I look at this, if I were to rotate this figure, right there it matches up. So does this have a rotational symmetry? Yes, because I rotated it a number of degrees and it matches up. If I look at this figure here, if I rotate this um, trapezoid any number of degrees between 0 and 360, see how it's never matching up until I've done a full circle? So in this case we would say no, does not have rotational symmetry because I, have, I had to rotate it 360 degrees to get it to match up. This figure here, if I rotate, once I've rotated it completely upside down, well then I can say yes, it looks the same, it looks exactly the same. So I rotated it, for this one it's easy enough to see, I just turn it upside down, so I rotated it 180 degrees. I'm going to go back and talk about how to get these other degrees here. So yes, it has rotational symmetry, look at the H. So if I rotate this letter H, and see how once I turned it completely, i got to shift it a little bit here because my center didn't stay in place. Um, but when I rotated this 180 degrees completely upside down, it looks the same. So yes, that has rotational symmetry. And it was 180 degrees. So these actually also have point symmetry as well. Because we rotated 180 degrees. 
So now going back to this other stuff here. So for ones that you turn upside down, that's easy enough to see. Um, but if we look at the octagon, how many degrees that I have to rotate it in order for it to match up. So imagine your center of this figure is going to be where you're really locking this in place. And if you remember, what I did was I turned this point and it became this point over here. So that's my angle of rotation. So I took each of these points and they each moved to this corresponding point. So this point moves on to this point. So you can see that again. If you imagine that center getting locked in place, so this point right here is getting mapped to this point right here. So what's happening is you're actually rotating whatever this angle is. Now, since this is a regular octagon, it means that we have eight equal sides and all of these what we call central angles because they touch the center of the shape. Um, those angles are all going to be equal. And if you look at what all of these angles have to form, they would have to form 360 degrees because they're angles around a point. So if I have eight angles and they all are equal and they all add up to 360, to find one of them, I'm just going to do 360 divided by 8. And that's going to tell me what each of those is. So that's going to give me 45 so that's the degrees of rotation. And then the last piece here, so for um, no rotational symmetry, you don't answer this stuff. Um, actually, I'm going to answer the order, but I'm not going to answer the degrees of rotation. So if there's no rotational symmetry, well, there's no degrees of rotation, because really that meant it took 0 or 360 to map the figure. So we don't really answer that. Um, but then for the order, if you read what that says up top here, so the order of rotational symmetry indicates how many turns um, you can take to get the figure to match up to itself. So the number of positions in which the object looks exactly the same. So if we look at this um, rotational symmetry of this uh, regular octagon, there's eight sides. So I could turn this thing eight times and it's going to match up. So this is going to have order eight there's eight positions where it would look the same. Where if you have no rotational symmetry, well then that means that there's an order of one. There's only one position where it's going to look the same. Um, a rotational symmetry of 180 degrees. So for these two, I could make these look the same in two different positions. So I turned it. Here was the original. I turned it one time and now it matched up. So there was two positions that for both of those that would make this um, look the same. So there's two separate positions that you could rotate it in. Um, so that's what the order means. So go ahead and try the um, check your understanding problems and um, we will talk about those in class.